Welcome to Now, I'm your host, Curtis Parody, and fun fact, I'm counting down the hours till the weekend begins. Before we start, I wanted to remind you that many of the shirts that I wear on this channel are available for purchase like this one. You can head over to the CurtisPardyStore.ca and check them out. Maybe purchase one, two, or three and help support me, Curtis P. Okay, let's jump into the news starting with some gaming news. If you ever played the Atari, you may have played this next game. If you have absolutely no idea what the Atari is, then sit back and enjoy. This game is fairly simple though, just keep your dot away from the walls. The only problem is that the walls get closer to you and also turn side to side and then they beat in and out with the music oh and better yet they get faster as the game progresses here's what i mean you're the dot and obviously you have to avoid the walls it's a very simple concept but damn does that look hard if you're interested you can download this game right now from the app store for 99 cents and attempt to beat the game but I have a feeling you won't. From the world of Apple and gaming to Microsoft and their store efforts. Looks like Canada will soon be host to one of the first international Microsoft stores. If you've never heard of a Microsoft store, then don't worry. There aren't too many of them yet, but they look like this and sell only Microsoft products. And don't confuse this store with this store as they sell totally different products. This new store will be located in Toronto and open on November 16th. So if you're a big Microsoft fan and you wanna check out their store that looks like this store, but it's not because it's this store, then head down down there for opening day. You know, maybe they're giving away free shirts, or is that this store that does that on opening day? I forget. From Microsoft to Mars Bars. It appears that the candy giant Mars has a problem with the ultra popular deep fried treat known as a deep fried Mars Bar. This interesting creation is best known on the US State Fair circuit, but was originally created by the Karen Fish Bar in Aberdenshire, Scotland over 20 years ago. But after 20 years, it appears that Mars Inc. would actually like them to warn people that they do not endorse this creation. They've asked that the Karen Fish bar's menu have a disclaimer added to it warning people about this treat. But the company isn't entirely unhappy about the deep fried Mars bar's popularity, stating, we are really flattered that customers of the Karen Fish Bar like our product so much that it has now become a flagship product for the store. When asked about Mars' request, the store owner had this to say, I was amazed when I got the lawyer's letter because I really feel that they're giving me a slap on the wrist. I think it's sad that it's come to this, but I am quite happy to put a disclaimer up because my intention was not to offend the Mars bar product. Fun fact though, the Karen Fish Bar sells between 100 and 150 of these deep fried creations every single week. Ending the week off right here, moving from candy to meat, we're heading back to the 2010 MTV Video Music Awards. If you can't remember what happened at this event, well, this happened right there. Yeah, you remember now. Well, it appears that the group from the U.S. National Museum of Women Arts has decided to display this meat dress to show off the determination Gaga had in support of gay rights. If you're like, what? Then don't worry, I'll fill you in. So in 2010, Lady Gaga wore this dress made of raw meat to the MTV Video Music Awards to show support for gay rights. She was accompanied by U.S. soldiers impacted by the don't ask, don't tell policy. And she explained that if people don't stand up for their rights pretty soon, we're gonna have as much rights as the meat on our bones. So beyond the shock value of the dress, Gaga's push for inclusion of gays or anyone else who is different helped cement her place as a pioneer. So the meat dress will be dried, preserved, and painted to restore its original raw meat color. Then, if you wish, you can go and check it out and marvel at its raw goodness. So going back to the story about the deep fried Mars bar, I was wondering, have you actually had a deep fried Mars bar? Yes or no, and did you like it? Tell me in the comment section below, or you can let me know on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Links to all that and more in the description below. And when you're done commenting, why not click the subscribe button in that corner? Then all of the newest episodes of Now will get sent straight to you. Then you can click the like button because you like this video, you like the content in it, or you like me. One of the three. Well, that's it for this week of Now. I've had an awesome time producing an episode every single day. Next week, I'm back to my old schedule of Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So until then, I'm Curtis Parody, and that's what's happening now.